welcome back for another adventure as we continue on with Death High. So let's get started. Alright, so on this floor you have to break the bookcases to get to the generators. Well, if you do it right, you don't have to break anything and you can avoid all of the zombies. So if you jump on this bookcase and then jump on to the next one, uh, you can kill these ones down here. Uh, maybe you can get away with out killing them. I always kill them just in case because you're not going to get down there to turn the generator. You're going to jump on this bookcase right here and turn on both of these generators without ever getting down and then once you have turned these generators on there's one more generator that you're gonna get back up to the top of the bookcase and run so make sure that you jump right there is a little crack here I fell so I had to fight my way out uh, you don't have to go down there just make sure you're jumping over the crack don't do what I did and then you can avoid all the zombies and get this done really quickly. So just scale on the top of the bookcases until you get to all the generators and then you can leave. trap doors on this floor uh, what I mean by trap doors is you have to kill all the zombies in the room before it will allow you to go through the door so this is the first room the second room is the last room that you go into so these are the only two rooms that you really need to kill the zombies in uh, so just jump up on this bookcase shoot them all or if you have a flamethrower you could also use a flamethrower um, a how it may even work, but you just kill all these zombies, the door will unlock, and you can move on to the next door. <laughs> On this one, when you go inside, you just stand on the bookcase like the other floor that was like this and shoot at the cans to burn most of them and then whatever ones the fire doesn't get, you will have to shoot them.
on this floor is a double boss. So you start the generator, and the first boss shows up with a bunch of smaller zombies. Um, I suggest to kill all the smaller zombies first and try to take out the big one because the smaller ones are the ones running towards you. Um, and then this one, the second boss is different. It's not the mine guy, it's actually the witch. So once you get in all this done and you will activate her and then I suggest again to kill the smaller zombies before taking her out. floors. Uh, these floors it's suggested to use a shield and pistol. I actually find those difficult to use so I use an arc but you can actually use uh, your KSG or your um, red dot to one shot them if you're strong enough. So um, the, these floors are not very difficult on this level if you're higher but if you're lower you can use the walls to hide from their uh, icicle shots. Also, if you notice, they have like a pattern. They'll shoot a little bit and then they'll stop for a little bit. When they stop is the best time to shoot at them. one uh, you can use these open rooms to either avoid the icicles as much as you can or you can use them to kind of hide on the side and shoot them uh, if you're a higher level if you've already done it you can skip over these but um, if you haven't uh, they don't do too much damage to higher levels so you can just run through uh, lower levels, like I said, you can use the uh, rooms to kind of like guard yourself from the icicles so that you can shoot at them. In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you? When you reach this room, you can hide behind these chairs uh, to shoot at these three zombies. They don't move unless they're shot at. Also, when you leave this room, four zombies will show up. You can try to shoot them from behind this door. Um, also, you only have to kill three of them uh, in order to get the door, but you also have to go outside of this room to activate them. Alright, so on this floor you can use sedatives to slow these zombies down if you are not strong enough to be able to just run by them to kill them. Um, because the only zombies on this floor that you actually have to worry about are the ones in the side rooms where the generators are. So if you can, just use the bookcases to run and then jump on these bookcases to kill these ones in the side one. Because once you get these two generators on, you can leave this floor. In the 
sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light You also have to kill these three zombies that are right here. Um, if you position yourself correctly, um, you can shoot them from this corner or you can just wait for them to stop throwing their uh, icicles and then go around and shoot them while they're not shooting at you. But you can definitely use this wall to protect yourself from their icicles. <laughs> In the sky, gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true So with this boss, I'm not really sure if it's a glitch um, Because he still moves, but I stood behind this pillar And he seemed to just try to shoot at me uh, so you can try it and hopefully it works um, like I said uh, I'm not really sure if this is a glitch but definitely worth a try <laughs> watching uh, I hope that you guys got a lot of information and it was helpful I will see you guys tomorrow and please like and subscribe bye